All right. I know how this is going to go. I, I just burped in anxiety. Oh, God, I did it again. All right, I'm good. I, I, I know how this is going to go. A lot of people are going to complain that I, I am making a video like this. It's not that has anything to do with anything right now. And if it offends anyone, I'm sorry. But like, I really have to get off to get this off my chest. Now, as you can see in the title in the video, I'm not going to make it misleading or whatever. Like I like it's 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 about Barbara Gordon not being in Birds of Prey. Like dead ass. Like um i don't follow anything so like i heard that like people were complaining about the birds of prey movie but i also heard that people heard people complain about the birds of prey movie but no one really went into detail about it well um uh well i i'm i'm, I'm, I'm off script right now so like i i guess i should go on script before i give context for like this this like video i guess so like um so like, here's the thing, like, you know, honestly, I could talk about all the comic books I own. Like, nobody has that over me. Like, I, I like, out of most of the people I know, like, majority of the people I know, I have more comic books than they do, right? But, like, honestly, that's not even what the issue is. Like, I can't make that, like, I, I, I really, like, can't make that the issue. Like, that's not what the problem is. It's not me reading a lot of comic books. Uh, you, you don't need to read comic books to know the new Birds of Prey movie. It's, like, absolute horse shit. You don't need to read all the Birds of Prey comics. There's a lot of them hundreds of them right uh surprisingly enough is actually pretty popular um series but uh the um, the the issue is with the movies that the heart the highlight was harley quinn and babs was literally nowhere in sight babs barbara gordon first batgirl not yep yeah, yeah, not you know you know uh how about the uh how about this one the nice young lady that formed the literal birds of prey Oh, y'all didn't y'all didn't know that 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 she was the one who got everyone together. She she, she got Sandra and she was the bad girl. Oh, oh, you you didn't know that? Wow, yeah. So it's like really weird when Harley Harley Quinn is highlighted as not a part of the group, but then the person who made the group like what? <laughs> Well, you know, maybe the problem is maybe she's bland or not as exciting as Harley. <clears throat> Wait, no, I mean new age, hyper-sexualized Harley Quinn. I'm not talking about the Harley Quinn that most of us grew up with. You know, the really interesting character. She provided a pretty intricate parallel to the Joker. Um, doesn't doesn't exist after the new Suicide the only Suicide Squad movie, and that is what they fucking did with it. That's crazy. But, uh, you know, like, who am I? You know, like, well, you know, to most men, you know, like, you guys like to see scantily cladded and poorly armored females. You know, you guys aren't going to exactly get turned on by a redhead with glasses in a wheelchair. She can't do stuff. She isn't hard. Okay, okay, okay. okay. You know, I'm, I'm not even going to pursue this train of thought, right? What I'm going to talk about exists outside of the realm of Birds of Prey. The story starts when the Joker was bored as fuck one day and decides to literally murder Jason Todd, that's Robin number two if you don't actually read the fucking comic books, and rape a very underage Barbara Gordon and literally shoots her in her spine, leaving her paralyzed from the waist down. What? And, I, am I, and that, that happened? And they made a whole movie, the animated movie, The Killing Joke. The Killing Joke has been around since the fucking 80s, right? And honestly, in my opinion... That is one of the most gruesome things that happened in the comic book. And the closest second might have been like when Dr. Light's son got killed by like the fake crypto, the super dogs, weird alien transformer thing. Or like just insert a part of Slade Wilson's life. Like maybe Jericho got his throat slit. Maybe he's sleeping with the underage girl. Maybe the guy who made his power suit isn't gay with his underage son. Who knows? There are a few different tellings, but basically Babs become the kick-ass superhero oracle. Right, the Oracle, the motherfucking Oracle. All right, and I want to focus on the early two thousands three part special of Oracle. You know, I I have it. I could go dig for it. I could take a picture with all three issues to fucking verify if you really need to see it that badly. Right, but um, but uh, honestly, like there are there are uh, there aren't that many comic book series that like stick out to me like that like you know like i really like 
Deathstroke stuff. Like, what they did with Rebirth with Deathstroke was so cool. But, like, but, like, you know, that the, I, I guess ultimately the problem falls down to the reason why I really like it and what the problem is, is like, just watch this, right? Like, racists and homophobes are being dragged, but no one are talking about people with disabilities who have to augment their body to look how they feel. The problem is that people who have disabilities are, and or just different in general, like not even just disabilities, just different, that different in general, are considered second class citizens. You know, we don't get to sit and complain about our mental health or how we don't like how we are inside of our own bodies because that's just too different. People don't fuck with it, right? They can't do anything, right? Yeah, you have Babs who, while playing an MMO with her friend, her friend, mind you, they literally die. Head goes boom, dies in the game, dies in real life, right? And she's like, no way, like, I'm going to bring justice to my friend, and she does not stop, right? So we're talking, like, we're going to go into the hard body part of this, right? With nothing but a fucking briefcase and her wheels she follows her only lead to china right now this is where you're at issue two right a few pages in and Babs finds herself surrounded by a couple of goons in the rain three to be exact they knock her off a wheelchair oh no oh no they're gonna oh no psych you thought this was a flipping sing-along she pushes herself off the grab a uh, ground she, she she grabs one of the mooks she suplexes him she didn't like hits like a nerve in his side and like he kicks a leg up and he hits the other guy he, he he drops the baton right she catches it in one motion and beams it at the last guy's head hitting him straight in the forehead i'm not gonna lie i thought she killed him <laughs> the first time right that's not even the most hard body part because after everyone else is unconscious in the rain in the middle of this dark alley by herself she's just dragging and clawing herself back to her fucking wheelchair she climbs back on grabs her wheel uh briefcase it just rolls away and she just rolls away you know like of course you get to see her train you know like they spend a couple of pages um like you know like kind of like or maybe just like one page and like multiple panels of her just like training her body you know like you know, like, she has to compensate because she can't use her legs the same way. You know, she's heavily traumatized by what happened with the Joker, but she actively tries to get over it. That's why she made the Birds of Prey group to begin with. Who who, who would who would have guessed? Who would have guessed? And, and, you know, and honestly, that actually happened. You could go look it up. That literally happened. I cannot make that up. So how do you not put her in the fucking Birds of Prey movie? You fucking ableist bastards, man. You had a chance to inspire so many young people. I gotta like <coughs> Cause I'm tight. That's a that's a that's a that's a that's a that's a tight cough, right? You no, know, like you had a chance to inspire so many young people. So many, right? Whether it was young girls with identity and slash or body issues, young ones who have like a type of handicap that would normally have gotten you bullied when you yourself were in middle school, right? And it's hard for people who don't have to deal with it to understand why this is such of a big issue to me. I know I'm the guy who hates the film adaptations of like literally everything, but this is on a whole different fucking level. Imagine if they made a DBZ movie, but instead of Goku banding the Z fighters together, it was fucking Mr. Popo. You'd be mad, right? Goku isn't even the movie. But this isn't the first time. Name one fucking movie that Babs is in. I know she's just a fictional character, but she inspired me to create my series about handicapped heroes. You know, um, uh, or the anime, I did fucking sidetrack because it's like, oh no, like plugging my stuff and things. But like, you know, like when I was at a low point in my life, it gave me energy reading that somebody else, you know, like despite her difficulties, despite her handicaps, she was still really strong, you know, like, and that gave me strength. Um, you know, and I and I think that because this matters to me the way it does, it, it, it maybe matters to other people too. You know, like it, it's not just me. You you can't say it doesn't matter. You know, and before anyone says anything about like Professor X, like he he doesn't count. You know, there's no struggle with this character. He just happens to be in a wheelchair. That 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 you know, like and and then it it poorly gets explained like every iteration, like every ten years or so. You know, but like, but here's the best part. Nobody watched that Birds of Prey movie. Why? They had no idea. They had no idea who the Birds of Prey were. You had a chance 
to enter an all female, right? DC team of superheroes and you fucked it up because you wanted to highlight Harley Quinn. And now nobody's ever going to go watch another Birds of Prey movie. You fucked it up for me. You fucked it up for a bunch of kids who never had a chance to read the comic books. You fucked it up for the fans. And of course, you know, the only people who aren't complaining are one, the people who didn't go see the movie. And two, are misogynistic fucks. You know, ableist bastards. People who, who like don't see problems with stuff like this ever because they never had to be put in a situation like this. Talking about this just gets me so fucking tight. I, I just, uh, <coughs> this, this is a rant. I, I'm going to just upload this like as it is. I probably look mad wild, but um, I hope you guys maybe appreciated some of my um, energy. Um, you know, like I, again, like I was on off script. Like, is this just something really different that I've done? I've been sitting on making this video for a while because it's just, again, like, you know, like I, I'm not saying I own every issue of Birds of Prey or like, whatever but like i really like the character the oracle and i hate that she doesn't even exist not really in rebirth the new canon which is my i my opinion the best canon dc has done in the new fucking age but um what can i do about it, it it's just the state of the world all i could do is hope that maybe you guys can have some more sympathy for people who just like who really can't speak up for themselves that you would never hear talk about it, you know, like, but, you know, like, I, I don't know, like, yeah, just take, take it as you will, get salty, I don't fucking care, go fuck yourself if you have a problem with this, um, but I'll see you next time, salty bums and bitches, maybe I'll upload another video, another ranty video, salty rants, I'll call these salty rants, this is my salty rant, um, I might just, like, you know, like, edit it, <laughs> so it just is not me straight ranting for now 12 minutes but um thanks everybody for sticking around and like just listening to me um uh it's hard being different it is very hard and don't let anyone tell you otherwise i know there's a lot going on right now but your mental health is more important than anything else if you can go outside if you can't protest if you can't do whatever it's not your fault it's not, it's, and don't let anyone tell you because they do not know your struggle. All right. And uh, that, that is my goodbye message. I, I feel awkward now. Goodbye.